but it's not me, it's you. What you're turning into is some kind of something that I never knew. It used to be okay. Hey everybody, this is John Festmeyer, MFA candidate at Academy of Art University. Working on my thesis, Bodacious Creed. My son is hanging out with me right now, so if you hear a kid's voice, that's him. Uh, so I figured I'd, I'd uh, go over a little bit what I did over the winter break and then get into what I've been working on since the semester started last week. Uh, one thing I worked on was Couch Zombies, which these are all characters from that show. Here's my character and in Flash, there's a 3D sculpt of him. Uh, anyway, so that's, that's been a lot of fun. Um, a buddy of mine and I came up with his show. I, I'm sure I've mentioned it. I know I've mentioned it several times in this blog. If you want to check it out, it's just youtube.com slash couch zombies. We've got four very funny videos up right now. So that was fun. I got to do some actual, uh, some more head modeling and animation. Had a blast with that. I know. Cold's been, cold been going around, so... My son and I both got a cold. Yeah, we're getting better, though. Anyway, you don't care about that. What you care about is that I am now working on my thesis again. I know. Should we show him my thesis? There it is. There's Bodacious Creed as he is now. I've been uh, making him into more of a zombie since the semester started. Uh, if you watch previous videos, you saw him get all textured with his uh, the human skin. And now the trick is to make him gory and look undead. So I've gotten all these wounds in here, which I'm going to, you know, I'm going to really make them more sure they're more detailed. Uh, we'll need to see a little more of the, uh, probably some of the radius bone here, some of the tibia here, um, possibly some of the uh, end of the radius there, where it becomes part of the elbow. Uh, things like that. Up in here, you see there's a big gouge there, but the thing is I already have some of the other body parts done. So if I turn those on, there you can see some of the me mechanical parts and the muscles that I've built in here last semester. Uh, the skull right there, and some other bones. And if I get closer here, you can see some of the changes I made to the skin. The first thing I did is I actually went in and just did a very light uh, gray all over his body, kind of to give it a, a desaturation effect. Just very light so the details still show through, but the, the color changed enough to give him a, a more pale, more uh, dead skin look. Uh, and then I went over and added some, some nice organic detail. You see these, these spots on them. There's actually quite a bit of this kind of reddish, and there's kind of a brew, blue, you can see it in here, uh, bruising look. So hopefully that will help make things look better. Now the thing is, I uh, next thing I'm going to do is get some images of this, upload them to my class forums, and uh, some of my instructor and some of my fellow students can give me and you can share some ideas that they have, um, some ideas how to, how to further make this look um, undead and, and zombie-like. Uh, of course, I've got ideas myself. I've got, I got a plan of how to work on it, but uh, never hurts to get um, some good feedback. So that's how Creed is looking. I will get Anna up and restart the video in a sec. All right, so at the end of last semester, uh, I had most of the, the sculpting for Anna done. It's okay, buddy. And look pretty much like this. Um, I have these little little bits here. I was I was thinking of having um, like a a bar across these areas of her body when I did the video. But then I'm thinking, you know, I'm a modeler. I can just make something to cover her there. So so these little little cover bits are uh, so that this will be more YouTube friendly. Uh, anyway, so. There are a few things I, I definitely need to work on. I need to work on uh, the backs of the legs here. And uh, my advisor, Chad, gave me some very, very good uh, instruction on, on how to do that and get that to look really good. And 
uh, a little bit on the arms as well and, and some other places. So I have obviously more, a little more sculpting to do. But in any case, I started the texturing. So here's what I've done so far on that. There you go. So she's looking pretty good. You can see it's patchy in places. That's completely normal because uh, basically I'm projecting the texture onto her from photographs of the girl she's modeled after and uh, and then painting that on and it kind of gets a patchy look until I go in and, and get everything smoothed out and blended and uh, that'll be uh, one of the next things I do as well as getting those sculpted bits done but but she's coming along really nicely and so yeah I wanted to, to show that off and that's what I have done so far got a bunch more work to, that I want to get done this week I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to step up the pace a little bit because I, I know that I've got the coyote character Coconino to do. I've got um, to do poses for these guys. One of the reasons I am very focused on getting uh, Creed's body to that zombie straight right now is because I'm taking introduction to rigging and I want to rig him and if I can get him looking really really good rigged then I can put that in my demo reel and it would look uh, I think it'd be very impressive, so that's my, my hope. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a modeler or artist, hope you found it inspirational, maybe even helpful. Um, if you're not, you're just curious about how this stuff is done, hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll have more later.